Hey there friends, on today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use a micro SD card on your MacBook. It's super simple, let's do it right now. Okay, so if you have an older MacBook product, you will notice that there is no micro SD slot. What we have instead is this long little slot here on the right hand side of this particular MacBook Air and that is going to be your SD card slot. Now SD cards were really popular with cameras and those kind of things, but obviously with GoPro and a few other really neat updated cameras, we now have micro SD cards, which are really small. I'm using the Samsung Evo 256 gigabit card, which has been incredible. If you want one of these, you can get one in the description box below from Amazon, I'll put a link there. Basically what we need is this adapter right here. This is an SD adapter for a micro SD card. And basically this is what's going to fit just like this. You'd see it's got some pins on the bottom here. This is gonna slide directly into that SD slot on the side of our Mac. Now, in order to get the SD card in, you basically take this, and as you can see, it's got some prongs there too. And all we're gonna do is slide it directly into the slot like so. Now again, these cards, when you purchase them on Amazon, will actually come with the micro SD card, so you don't have to buy these separately. Although if you do have cards and you're looking to buy this, you can buy them independently on Amazon as well. Again, links in the description box below. Once you have this paired together, all we're gonna do is find that slot on the right-hand side. We're just gonna push this in just like that, and you'll see on my screen, our 256 gigabit card now is available for us to drag and drop files onto and use as extra storage. Now, in the event you don't have an SD card, maybe you have something newer that just has USB slots, if I go over here, you can see I'll pull out my little Garmin and then you've got our USB slot. They do make micro SD card adapters that use USB. Again, I'll put a link in the description box below if you'd rather use your USB port with that adapter. And that's about it, friends. Again, super simple. I hope that helps though. If it has, hit that thumbs up button. We're making a bunch more MacBook tutorial videos, so subscribe and we'll see you again on the next one.